I'm going to show you how you can make an extra $1,500 every single month using a app called Fiverr. Fiverr is one of the most slept on ways the way you can make extra income by not even having to be a freelancer yourself, but just by becoming an affiliate for Fiverr. That means that you can drop service other people's services and get paid the commissions when people pay them to use their services, you'll get a commission every single time. And those numbers do add up. And I'm gonna show you how to make at least $1,500 every single month with Fiverr without having to be in the videos, without having to sign up or become a Fiverr freelancer yourself and show you how you don't even have to show your face online or anything. Let's get into it. And by the way, this is all going to be free. Now, just to show you that this is absolutely real and possible, and you can do this with just spending an extra one to two hours each and every day, you can start generating income by becoming a fiber affiliate. Here are some of the income I've earned so far this month. So all I'm going to do is show you how you can make money just like this by doing the same thing I'm doing that doesn't take a lot of work. You don't have to be tech savvy. You don't even have to be a freelancer yourself and create a fiber account and sign up so people can pay you for gigs. All you have to do is use other people's services the way you can drop ship them, just like drop shipping is called drop servicing, and you'll get paid for people paying for other people, you'll get a commission with Fiverr Affiliate. Now, just in case you've been up under a rock, Fiverr is basically a place where Regular people can come and create an account and offer their skills and services in return for money. So if you're a teacher, if you're a freelance uh, freelance digital marketer, affiliate marketer, you do editing, um, you're a social media manager, almost anything is available and open for you to come in and create an account. And after you create an account, people can see your resume and see your skill set. And if it's something they need that they can use in their business or, you, or, or even in their personal life, they will hire you to do it for you and pay you a price, okay? So uh, there are a lot of Fiverr freelancers on this app that make a lucrative income from the comfort of their home or within a business that they're already running and people pay them every single day to do gigs for them. So each service is called a gig in Fiverr. But the cool thing about what I'm going to show you is this. You do not have to sign up be, to become a uh, Fiverr freelancer. You, you can become a Fiverr affiliate and you're gonna get paid for other people's services. All you're gonna do is just refer those people to these freelancers and when they get paid, by the person you referred them to, you get a commission. So let's dive into it. Great, so this is the Fiverr Affiliates website. So all you would have to do is go down to fiverr.com or you can Google Fiverr Affiliates. But if you go to fiverr.com, you just scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see one of their links for affiliates, but you can just Google Fiverr Affiliates and what's gonna happen is gonna bring you to this page. Now, if you want, just make sure you can go down in my description of this video and it's gonna lead you straight to this page so you can skip those steps, all right? But the first thing you're gonna have to do, you have to sign up to become a Fiverr Affiliate and it is absolutely free and it is easy to join. There are no restrictions. Any and everybody can sign up to become a Fiverr affiliate. So after you click that link down in my description, it's gonna bring you to this web page right here. And all you're gonna have to do is click one of these three buttons. You can go into the top right and click join now, or you can click start earning now. Okay, but I wanna tell you about some of the commissions that they give you. So before we dive into the sign up process, I want you to be aware of how much money you could potentially make with Fiverr. Okay, so they offer a, a $15 to a 15, $150 CPA. Now CPA stands for cost per acquisition. That means that between $15 and $150 is what you could potentially make for referring new clients or customers to an actual freelancer's page. And when there is a transaction that is transpired between the two, which means the customer actually paid or hired that freelancer for a gig. Once it's complete, you will get a commission and those commissions can range anywhere from 50 to $150. Now there's also Fiverr Hybrid, but you can also get 10% rev share between you and also the freelancer. But if you scroll down here um, down below, they do have Fiverr Business. Fiverr Business is, is um, um, for um, people that are have these super special skills and they're in a whole class above all the other freelancers 
on the platform, okay? So since their services are a whole lot better, they have premium prices, so they pay the affiliates premium commissions. So you can make anywhere from $100 plus and also 10%. Now, just as a regular fiber affiliate, you're gonna get 10% of every refer affiliate's er earnings for a lifetime, okay? And then they have something called Fiber Learn. This is where people can sign up to become better at um, placing their gigs and getting ranked on Fiverr so they can increase their odds of actually getting booked. So just like any other platform, they wanna be at the top of the pile. So Fiverr actually teaches their freelancers how to become good on Fiverr, how to get how to get reviews, how to create your profile and all of those things that will help them to get noticed on Fiverr. So if you refer a new Fiverr person or a current Fiverr person and they take part in this course, you'll get 30% commissions depending on whatever course they choose. Now those courses range in a variety of prices, but no matter what it costs, you'll get 30% commissions. All right, so here are some of the more commissions. So it's Fiverr Pro. This is just like Fiverr Business where all the pro affiliates are with higher premium services. They have a great reputation. They've worked with people you may have even heard of. So their resume is in a class all their own. So they're able to... Um, they're able to charge premium prices. Now, you'll get paid $150 for each Fiverr Pro member that you sign, for each Fiverr Pro person that you refer to a Fiverr Pro freelancer, okay? And then it's just broken down in the categories, okay? Different niches is what I like to say. So each different niche has its own price range. So here is $50 for industrial and product, $40 for website builders and CMS, $30 for e-commerce product videos, $25 for illustration type freelancers, and then there's also $15, which would be all the other categories. All right, so all you would have to do is just click that link in my description. It's gonna take you to the Fiverr affiliate page. And once you're there, you're gonna click join now or start earning now. And all you have to do is fill out this basic information. Okay, it's, just, it's as easy as one, two, three. So it's just your first name, last name, email address, username. Of course, you're going to want to create a password, confirm that, and then you're going to go through the process of becoming an affiliate. Now, if you don't have Skype or whatever, it's not needed. It's just an option there if you want to up, um, so link your Skype account up. And then once you're done, you're going to click next. Okay, now I'm not going to go through that whole process. It's, simple, uh, it's really simple and I don't want to waste your time. So we're going to just move along. Now, after you create your Fiverr affiliate account, I want you to do this. I want you to go to the original Fiverr website. So you're going to go to fiverr.com. Okay. I'll leave that link down in below too. It's F-I-V-E-R.com. You're going to find, you're going to go to fiverr.com. Now keep in mind, this is not your Fiverr affiliate account. Okay. After you create your Fiverr affiliate account, um, I'm going to come back to that, but after you create your Fiverr affiliate account, you're going to go to the main website, Fiverr.com. Now, the best way to be successful at this is that you want to pick a niche. And it could be anything you want. All right. Pre preferably, you want to choose something that a lot of people are in high demand or need. For example, small businesses may need a logo designer. They don't know how to create the logos themselves, or they may not be good at it, and they want to hire a professional that will create one for them. So, for example, we'll take that. We'll go with logo design, okay? So what you would do, you'll come to the Fiverr main website and you'll put in logo design. All right, and we're gonna press enter and it's gonna, what it's gonna do is gonna take us to all of the Fiverr freelancers that do logo design, okay? Now, what thing you wanna look for is make sure that these people have a high, um, great high high good review with stars you want to check how many reviews they have all right and you want to also check prices you don't want anybody too low okay because you want to make some nice commissions but you don't want anybody too cheap to where their services aren't great all right so when most people especially businesses come to fiverr they're not so much um concerned about price they're concerned about quality but no don't go too crazy and make it too high because of course small businesses want to save money too they just have a little bit more money than a regular person who doesn't have a business or may need their services so they may have a budget but try and find some type of median between the two to where you can find someone who's great but not only great but for a great price okay also on fiverr 
There's um, a way you can also filter it and you can also just go to just the best people. All right, say for example, right here, I already have this um, um, set on Fiverr Business. So these are gonna already be the some of the best people on Fiverr, okay? So well, you can explore and check out, but that's what the main thing you're gonna wanna do. For educational purpose, I'm not gonna waste your time trying to find the perfect Fiverr affiliate. Okay, so what I would do, I would just come in here, see somebody who's reasonable and has reasonable reviews. All right, this is a 4.9, 986 people they've helped, and they're starting from $65. Okay, so I would just click their profile right here. All right, once you click their profile, it's going to take you um, to their profile and their main page. Okay, here is where the magic happens. Okay, so here I'm going to be checking for the reviews. Okay, so they have a 4.9. Um, they have they work with 986 people. Now, if you want to go even deeper, you can click on this per, this Fiber Freelance's profile name, and it's going to tell you even more stuff. And we're going to do that as well. All right, but. Um, I'm able to look at his prices. His prices start at $65. That's the starter pack. $125 for standard and $230 for premium. These are all the things that are included in each package. All right. This is his delivery time. He gives unlimited revisions. So this is all cool stuff, right, that a, a, a small business owner may like. Okay. Also, I want to check and make sure that he has any work because I want to make sure the people I send here are able to look and see what kind of work he's done so they can check this out. And if they like that, um, they have something to go off to, which, which will help them make a better decision of whether or not they should work with this person. Now, also keep in mind, once you refer somebody here to Fiverr, this is the great thing. They have a cookie life. So if the person you send to this profile uh, specifically doesn't like this person or see someone else and they choose to spend their money with another uh, Fiverr freelancer, you're still going to get the commission. So you don't have to worry about that. OK, but you want to at least try and start your um your your referral whoever you're referring to this website on the right foot okay now 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 that you've picked your fiverr freelancer what you're going to do you're going to go up to the browser okay and this is their main page link okay but this is not an affiliate link so i'm going to show you how we can turn their profile to an affiliate link so you're going to double click this so that the whole thing is highlighted and once you do that you're going to copy it and then we're going to go into our Fiverr profile. All right. So this is the fight. This is your Fiverr profile. This is the dashboard. When you come into your Fiverr affiliates profile, what you're going to want to do is go to marketing tools. OK, and up under marketing tools to your left, you're going to go to default and deep links, default and deep links. Now, over here to your right over here. You're going to see a little tab that says LP URL. What this is going to do is going to make that link that we just copied from that freelancer's main page, their profile page. It's going to take it and encrypt your, your affiliate code into it. All right. So what you're going to do, and you're going to want to make sure that this right here is checked up on the LP URL. All right. So I want you to watch right here. Right now, this is all default. Um, Fiverr links that where if we send some people to these links it's just going to take them to the Fiverr website as a whole no particular profile but what we're going to do we're going to send them to that specific profile so what I would do I would just paste that there and once you paste it in here keep an eye right which what happens right here when you paste it in there you click enter now it has generated a link for me to send people straight to that Fiverr freelancers um profile page okay so now what we're going to do we're going to copy this right here and then what we're going to do since this link is super super long we're going to go to a website i like to use it's called rebrandly and what rebrand rebrandly does it's going to shorten that link for us okay because we don't want to put a super long link where we're going to post it okay so we're going to take that link we just copied we're going to right click and we're going to click paste and then you're going to click shorten URL. OK, keep in mind, this is rebrandly.com. All right. So they're asking me to um, verify myself. So we're going to do traffic likes, get this on out the way. And then we're going to click verify. OK, now it just shortened up my URL. So now all I got to do is just copy that URL. Now we have it locked in. Now, this is where it gets a little bit trickier, but I'm going to show you how to make this um, make this work in your favor. Now we got to 
figure out how we're going to get those people to come to this website. And I'm going to show you how to do that for free. Now, this is Canva. OK, so what we're going to use Canva for is what we're going to do. We're going to create some Pinterest pins. If you don't know about Pinterest, Pinterest is a platform where people can come and put pins and get traffic to their websites or services. OK, but the cool thing about Pinterest is it's a search engine. So when you post anything on Pinterest, people can search within the platform just like they're searching on Google. So if the person is looking for a web designer or a logo designer or whatever, you can potentially have your pins pop up in that search and whoever's looking for it can click it. All right, so we're gonna create our pin so we can promote it on Pinterest for free and encourage all those people on Pinterest that are looking for what this freelancer is offering. In this case, logo design, they have, the, um, that we're gonna um, create a pin so they'll see it. So when they click it, it's gonna lead, um, lead them to that Fiverr freelancer. So this is the um, Canva Pro version. There is a free version and you can do what I'm teaching you in Canva for free. If you don't have Canva, Canva, just give it um, go down in my description. You can click my link there and you get a free 30 day free trial. Okay. But all you got to do is um, come to Canva and at the top, you can just put in Pinterest pin, uh, put in Pinterest in the search bar. And then what it's going to do, then what it's going to do is going to give you a list of different templates that you can find that'll be the um, already sized up for you for a, per, a Pinterest pin board. Okay, so I've already skipped, I've already done that for you. It's super simple. All you're gonna wanna do is pick one that is blank so we can start from scratch. We're not gonna use any of their templates, but just go to Canva, put in Pinterest in the search engine bar, pick a blank uh, canvas just like this, click it and it's gonna bring you here. Now, keep in mind, we're looking for a low, um, we're, we're gonna be referring people to a logo designer. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the elements and we're gonna put in logo design. All right, and we're gonna see if we can find some cool photos. This is my first time doing this or whatever. So um, uh, within Canva, but we're gonna see if we can find something that works. If we don't find anything, we're gonna, um, uh, there's a plan B, I can show you what I normally do, okay? So great, so now I found a stock photo in Canva that has a great logo, and all I did was click it, and once I clicked it, I'm going to undo it so you can see it. When I click it, it's going to go into the canvas. And all I did, I right click that actual photo and I click set as background. It's automatically going to size it up. But we're not done there. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the text and we're going to um, click on our, um, our text and we're going to put what it is about what we're offering. OK, so we're going to put logo design. All right, just like that, real simple. And we're gonna make sure we're gonna make it pop. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna change that text style. All right, we're gonna make it just, uh, something different, something that'll pop. I'm gonna make all of these letters uh, capital. I'm gonna stretch it out. All right, because we wanna make sure they see this. All right, so once you stretch it out, um, what you're gonna do is wanna make sure it's really centered. So you're gonna click press uh, pos uh, position and then it's gonna center that text for you. All right, so well, the only thing, only extra thing I'm gonna do, I don't like that white on black even though it does stand out a little bit. I'm gonna change it so they really, really can see it. So I'm gonna, I'm um, trying to create an engaging color. All right, and I'm gonna go with green. I'm gonna choose this green right here. We're gonna see how that looks. All right, so I'm not really feeling the green. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change it to, let's try yellow. We want something that'll really, really pop out. All right, boom. So I'm gonna see if I could just um, make it a little bit more stronger. Boom. Yes, I like that. And we're gonna put an effect on it. So I'm gonna make this neon so it'll really pop out. Yes, that is looking awesome. All right, so now all is all we're doing is just make it, I'm telling you guys, less is more. Don't get overly creative, okay? So we got logos design right here. We have a logo so they can see an example like this. Okay, so now what we are we going to want to do is we're going to download this right here. You're going to go to the top right hand corner in Canva, and then you're going to um, just click download, and you're going to make sure that when you download it, it is a um, PNG file or whatever, so it has the highest quality. And then what we're gonna do is just download it to our computer. All right, now, next step. 
Okay, now after you have downloaded your Pinterest pin, what you're gonna do is come over to Pinterest. And what you're gonna do, if you, um, by the way, if you haven't created your Pinterest account, make sure you create one, it's absolutely free. So create your Pinterest profile, um, it's for free. Make sure you put all your features in there, put your profile picture, put um, a nice bio, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to go super duper crazy, but really set up your profile as neatly as close to possible. Um, um, so that it looks real because you don't want to scare any of your uh, referrers if your profile just has default settings, there's no background feature of photo, there's no profile photo, there's no bio. Keep in mind that people are paying money and they're very hesitant if there's any sign of any person that um, that this person could potentially scam them. All right, so you wanna set up your profile as closely as possible. You don't have to have a lot of pins. Just make sure you have your profile. But once you get it set up, you're gonna to go to your Pinterest profile, you're gonna create, create. All right, so we're gonna do create pin, just like this. All right, and all we're gonna to wanna to do, we're gonna um, upload our pin. So I'm gonna show it in folder. I already have it downloaded. All right, and here it is right here. I'm gonna just drag it, boom, bam. All right, now you can see it fits perfectly into that Pinterest pin right there. All right, so now all with some, um, some things you're gonna have to do is add your link, okay? So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, we've already copied it and pasted it from Pinterest. I mean, I'm sorry, from Fiverr. So we're gonna right click right here where it says, add a destin destination link and you're gonna go right here and you're gonna click paste and there's the link for us, okay? Now the other thing is what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to that person's profile, okay? And we're gonna get their description, all right? So we're gonna search for the description and we're gonna um, find something that's really quick and to the point in their description. Um, let me see. All right. So we have something right here. He says, I would do a creative minimalist logo for your business, website, brand, channel, etc. Cedra, love what love to uh what I'm doing. Always happy to help you 24-7. All right, so we're just gonna take that little bite-sized part right there. Copy it, and we're gonna go back to Pinterest and we're gonna paste it here. All right, let's see. Um I want, I want to make sure that we do not put too many characters. All right, so um, that looks pretty good. And you can get um, many different descriptions. You just want to get the one as close as to possible. So when people are looking at that um, that pen, they can kind of understand what's happening. All right, so um, the reason I didn't choose this one, because it says, if you are impressed, place an order. People won't know what he means. But you could have went and said, I'm an experienced graphic designer and illustrator in Photoshop. I am level two seller on Fiverr and 1K logos done. The reason I didn't pick that one, because it's not specifically saying anything about logo design. The one that we copied down here, he says, I would do a creative minimalist logo. So I want to make sure there's clarity and what they're reading. So they'll be more motivated to click the thing, um, click the Pinterest board. All right. So the second thing you're going to want to do, or the third thing you're going to want to have to do after you have your link and then after you have put in your um description you can click on it's um you can click on um uh, more text or whatever and here is where i like to put hashtags okay so we're going to do logo design logo designer All right, and logos. All right, so what this is gonna do is gonna help the uh, the algorithm um, place it in front of the correct people based off their behaviors on this platform. All right, so right here, we're gonna put in Fiverr. No, we're gonna put in um, logo design. We won't do Fiverr, okay? So we're gonna put in logo designer or logo design, and then we're good. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna click um, you're going to select the board board you want it in. <laughs> Once you've done that, you're going to select the board. You'll learn when you create your Pinterest account, you have to put your pins in like boards. They're kind of like folders that are categorized based off different things you're talking about in your profile or in your content. So I have different ones, okay? 
um, in my profile. This is about blogging and business startups or whatever. So I could put this into my business startup folder because it's for small businesses. And then what I'm going to do is click publish. Boom. Once you publish that pen, all you have to do now is sit back and let the algorithm do all the work for you. Now, you don't want to just stop right there. Don't just post one pen, okay? What I would do, I would get lots of different pens from Fiverr with your affiliate link, repeating the entire process and post as many times as possible, okay? What that's going to do is going to help the algorithm understand what potentially your content is about. All right. Um, and plus, the more content you put out, or in this case, the more Pinterest pins that you put out, the more uh, the more traffic that you're um, allowing to come to your affiliate link. So don't just put one pin and think, wow, I'm going to make fifteen hundred dollars. Do as many as you can. You can do logo design, web design, or whatever you're interested in on Fiverr. Okay, you also can take these pins, these same pins, and you can turn them into stories. You can turn them into some videos using Canva, all those things. You don't even have to show your face or whatever and put them on multiple different platforms. Now, if you have an extra few bucks, you can also put an ad behind these Pinterest boards on Pinterest by going into Pinterest business and creating an ad that will push out that pin to more people and speed up the entire process and likewise you can do this on facebook instagram you could also do this on tiktok and multiple multiple other platforms okay so this is how i do it it's very very simple it takes a little time but in time you're going to rack up those dollars and earn those commissions so like i said you don't have to do any of that work once those people go to the fiber page that, the, that is encrypted with your affiliate link that fiber freelancer is going to take it from there and if there is a transaction meaning they paid for that person's services you're going to get paid. All right, I hope this helped you out so much. If it did, drop uh, drop a like down here. Drop me a comment down here if you got any questions and tell me what videos would you like to see for me to come out with next. All right, as always, you guys stay blessed and I'll see you on the other side of success.